Alright. Well, now we know that there's someone after me. Oh, hi, well, Bridget. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. That'd be nice. So who are you, your by the way? Your words. You do not carry yourself like Skull. most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. I'm with you, Blue Enemy. I'm happy that Sean Hampton's innocent. Uh, cause like I didn't want to kill him to begin with. Oh god, I have to sneeze. Oh, I think I just. Oh, I think it went away. Uh, what happened to you? You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Okay. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secret. Sean is a good boy. Such a good boy. Do not betray us. It's true. Sean is a good, good boy. Why do you live here? Amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. Well, I'm obviously, I'm asking a dumb question. From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Okay. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan. The Ascalon Club. Ascalon Club. We are the sewer skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can. And now we hide. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if Jonathan even understands what he's asking. Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls groveling beneath the feet of our makers. So sad. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Oh. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. Interesting. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Okay, cool. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. God, this is interesting. I love the fact that they've just added like a whole nother like level of society to this game. Oh, this game is so good. I love it. Is there anything up here? Before I leave. Oh, yeah, more stuff. More stuff to collect. The catacombs of Paris must be crawling with skulls. Oh, dude. It's true. Ooh, a hideout. Ooh. Refill all, please. Can I upgrade anything here? Oh, what's this? Sturdy blood sample. Analyze. Ooh, regeneration serum. Regenerate 500 hit pulse instantly and then 300... <gasps> oh, that's so good. Yes, please. Oh. Let's see, can I break down anything? Yeah. Recycle, 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 recycle. Break junk. There needs to be a way to recycle all. If I'm going to be using the shotgun, I want to upgrade it. upgrade this thing. Improve firepower or increase velocity firepower. Let's upgrade it to level 3. Improve firepower or velocity. Let's 
do the reload time. Okay. Um, is there anything else I could upgrade? No, I need some more tiny parts. Trigger parts. Oops. Good handle parts. Okay. Cool. So now we have an upgrade spot. Got a common mace. What? Got a lot of XP. Oh, I got so much XP. So when we go to sleep, we're gonna be like, we're gonna be able to level up a couple of uh, things. I'm gonna level up. Oh, excuse me. Wait, wait. Where's that rat? Excuse me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ugh. Okay. So let's let's get out of here. Go back for what? I think we talked to everybody up there. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep in that bed. I'm going to go back to my uh, thing. I'm going to level up back at the hospital. I'm going to level up back at the hospital. Alright, um... This is to follow the arrows. Can you guys please move so I can take this money? God damn it. I'm fine. You can, you can keep that money. I don't care anymore. I don't even care anymore. Keep that money. It's locked, all right. There you go. Open. After all this time, he's still grumbling about rats. You would think, Blue Anime, he's done it like a hundred times already. Come on, Jonathan. It's not the first time you've eaten rat. It's not going to be the last. Get off your high horse, Jonathan. Ooh, what? Why is there a bunch of dead dudes it's here? Locked, all right. My god, what's happening? Sean Hampton's night shelter. Is he eating people here? Sean, are you eating people here? Um... I think Sean's eating people. My god. This is not a really good, um... <laughs> You're trying to prove your innocence, Sean. I don't know about this. <laughs> Welcome back, Dr. Reed. What are you eating? Would you like to take communion with me now? What are you eating, Sean? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. Flesh bits. Banished Edge, thank trusted. you. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? I am so conflicted. I am so conflicted. It's just a nibble, right? Did you see all those dead people down there, though, Blades? Oh, you hide your game well. You protect mortals and skulls? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Don't you see the risks? What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? Of His eyes are decade, creepy. That's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. I like Only how his character is like freaking out. Real. You've turned Skull now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? 
We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. Pyrobot, you have a good... It's, it's a good um, observation. It could be dug up bodies, which, fine. If it's dug up bodies, fine. But, I mean, one of those guys looks pretty fleshly dead. I don't know if he killed him or not. All I know is that in this short amount of time, he's eaten a lot of bodies. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice. As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. What era is this place in? Or take place in? This is a uh, like 1915, like so. It's just after the First World War. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks <sighs> of the past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. It's possible. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. Yet yeah, you're clearly eating a body! Oh God. We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. But you feed on corpses! I want to trust you. I want to trust you so bad, but you feed on corpses. I'm so conflicted. If I kill him, I ruin the trust of old Bridget. I also ruin all the people that shelter here. He hasn't killed anybody up to this point, but he's been eating a lot of dead corpses. I'm gonna trust him. I hope I'm 100% sure on this. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult place to make. <laughs> Rick. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges. Can you back up, please? You're sweating peace. quite profusely. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I hope I'm making the right decision. Embrace! Embrace! No, I've, I'll spare him. Oh, come on, Jonathan. I believe you, Sean. In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. <sighs> He's doing so much good that I can't kill him. The fact that he eats corpses, though. All right. Mesmerism level. Is it up to three? I have a hint failed? Oh, if I had probably killed him, he'd probably give me like a hint at the end. Dude, he has so much blood quality, though. <sighs> he 
He only eats the dead. But I mean, when you kill a person, doesn't that make them dead? Like you could say, I only eat fresh flesh. I mean, he eats the dead. So he could kill a person to eat their, their flesh, correct? I, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm so conflicted right now. But I didn't kill him. Another corpse thrown oh, in the streets. God. Someone's playing a very sick game. Who is this person? What's in his hands? I know this brooch. This is my mother's. Did he kill my mother? A birthday gift from father. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street. Pretty That's Orchard Street. Street. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Now it's personal. It's true. It's personal now. Oh. Ichabod, how's it going? Okay. Um. Jeez. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. You seem very cheerful after what just happened. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all. No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. She is a little suspicious, I agree. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. So... You again? What do you want? Oh, Giselle's gonna get killed. Giselle, I know you sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. What can you tell me about him? He provided a roof for me and my sister. I am grateful, of course. But he gives me the creeps. Why is that? He's always sad. Like he's about to cry. He's always asking us to get closer to God. To give ourselves to the Lord. I thought you were cool with Giselle. She's so moody. Creepy. I mean... I do want to get my blood quality up. Hmm. Giselle, tell me she about the death. She did sort of kill mother. her mother. After our father died, mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell? What do you mean? The three of us were exhausted and desperate. And when I'm desperate, I tend to get angry. And I'm hard to live with. Lottie said I killed mother. You should talk to your sister. You should talk to your <laughs> sister. Whatever happened when your mother died, the truth lies somewhere between your two versions. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. We Paxton sisters are tough. We don't apologize. Okay. Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. See, this is why it's she needs to die. If you ask me. Well, I'll leave you for now. <sighs> Goodbye, Miss Pax. This is why she needs to die. She obviously is crazy. Good evening, Mr. Thor. <sighs> Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Suspicious lately? He's got good, qual good quality too. Did you too. see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Hmm. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Yes, definitely a vampire close by. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Right. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. 
Thought she said sexist pig. Black mirror intensifies. She did say sexist pig. She did. All right. Well, there's a dude dead that's here. All right. Now I have to go all the way that way. I kind of want to go back to the hospital, though. Is there anything I can do on my way back, though? Let's see. Oh, I need to do this. I need to go back and give him his stuff. And then Awita Cox, she has a quest for me as well. But I can only do one at a time, so... Let's... let's... wait. Where's her quest at, actually? Her quest... Did I do it right? Come up with the grave diggers? I don't know. Let's just go back to Tom. I have so much experience to, to use. Ooh, hello, shillings. I still want to find a cure for the fucking headache. Ugh. Thought she said she. You thought she said sexist or sexiest? Ah, sexiest. Oh yes, that's definitely different. To citizens of London, curfew, official warning. Curfew will be sounded at 9 p.m. by the church bells. All citizens must be kept off the streets until 5 a.m. Until further notice, a citywide curfew has been implemented. It is imperative that you wear a mask to prevent your spread of infection. If any members of your household becomes ill, inform authorities immediately. So this is probably why people are attacking us all the time. is because there's a curfew. Go this way. Get these rats. I have this. Get my... Uh. Of blood. Get my blood back up. Here are you. I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it, Jonathan. Believe it. There has to be a faster way over there. Is it right here? Yeah, here it is. Haha. -ha. Those guys are dead. Okay. It's quite stable over here. All right. Um, the bar is just right here, I think. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Hello. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Uh, your warehouse wasn't empty. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor. But it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. That's fair. It's because you were obviously in, Here in is jail. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Let's see. You're gonna be the next vampire, I believe it. Oh, Tyler Ed. Ooh. Details about the attempted murder. You're arrested for murder. You start a new life in prison. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Hmm. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. The voice lines for rat numbing are far too dramatic to be so re repetitive. It, he just goes through the same ones over and over again. It, it feels pretty repetitive to me. Don't you feel threatened? Hi, I'm a vi scum and villainy. It's true, Rick. I made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. Yep. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Your arrest for attempted murder. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. Customers wear you your past? Your customers know about your sordid past. <laughs> Why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many around here. Hmm. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars. 
<laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. It's not that ugly. It's cute. All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. It's a cute turtle. Don't worry. Don't don't put yourself down, Tom. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang. <gasps> Were you part of the wet boot boys? The proud wet boot oh. These Why boot boys. Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why hmm. couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You empathize? You realize how sad you were? You were scared to kill? Did you realize how sad you were? No, did you empathize with him? You refused to kill him because you wanted to Oh, uh, Molten Mongoose, thank you for the bits. You Firestar, welcome. Man. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. Selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Oh, Firestar, hope you're having a good day. Continuing vampire. Do we get all the- oh, we only got like one more hint left. Got one more hint. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Can we talk to Sabrina? Can we match them up now? Can we go like, do you know that your boss is a murderer? You're still working at this hour. That's what I call dedication. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it oh, that's surprise sweet. you to find out about it? Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. Hmm. Tell me, Sabrina. Do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? Nah. We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. God. She has low blood quality. Ugh. 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 It's fine. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. All right, I think it's time to go back to the hospital. Let's see. There's a hideout here. Yeah, it looks like there's two new quests at the hospital. Cool. There's also something up here and there's a couple things going on. All right, let's go back to the hospital. So few clients. There's still some people that I want to cure. They're over here. We could run all the way to Whitechapel and cure some of these people of their fatigues. Let me talk to Edwina Cox though for a second. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Personal question. No. Trade? Can I see what you have? As long as you have money. Alright, I wanna buy some good trigger parts. I have a lot of money. I think I want good handle parts. I'm gonna buy some bullets. Cause we're always out of bullets. There we go. God, bullets are so expensive. Um, I never use this common pistol, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep this only because it's it's her husband's hatchet, and I don't want her to ask any questions. Which I think is fair. I could sell her drugs. Ooh. I could also sell her her husband's wedding ring back. Butterboy! Jazzy, how do you feel about garlic bread right now? Mmm, 
garlic bread. Dude, garlic bread sounds delicious. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna sell you your husband's shit. It's just rude. You again. What do you want? I'm leaving. I just wanna ask you some questions. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done around here. No one gives a shit. Oh. Huh. Someone will kill you? Are you that heartless? Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? Yes. Ooh, he's got some good blood. He's got some good blood. I want to eat this guy. I just need to get his hints. Goodbye, okay. Um, how do I get out of here? Okay, so if I go this way, I can go across the docks. Some skulls. Might as well kill them for the experience. <laughs> he just exploded. He popped like a balloon. I don't want to use all my uh, ammo. There we go. I just bought that ammo. New investigations. Oh. The more I kill, the more blood I get. Oh, excuse you. There you go. So I got a new investigation here? Old prune and good matter. Save the old man defeating the skull. Oh, there's a dude here? Oh god. Oh god, they're level 19. Oh god, no! Oh god, no! Get off me! Oh god! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Hold still! Okay, hold still, buddy. Give me back my blood. That camera, though? Yeah, the camera is pretty bad in this game. Like, once it gets locked onto somebody, it constantly rotates, and, like, it's hard to get the camera to lock onto somebody else. Let's save this dude. I saved you using my vampire powers. No, nope, don't mind me. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I well, I just you fucking saved you. Being here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but. Are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! Oh. I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. Which boy? So I decided to come and find him myself. To get some answers. Which boy did he take? But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not this referring guy is to drunk. the gang either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This Dude, this guy is wasted. Wait. Who is this dude? Who is this guy? Um, Camilla. Okay. There's still one more dude here. Who is this guy? Right, he's healthy. He's healthy. Okay. Also, 
You do realize you're hanging out with like a dead body, right? Okay, let's see. Is there anything in here? Some shillings. Her vampire drinks the blood of a person who's drunk. Does the vampire get drunk off of him? I would say yes. Depending on how high that blood alcohol content is. <laughs> oh. But yes, I'm gonna say yes. Is there anything up here? Looking around, not seeing much. Oh. Bloody letter. Dear mother! For whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know that you did not always approve of the way I chose to live, but I won't change. I was born and raised in this part of the town, and I can't stand what's happening to my neighborhood, to the people we know. I recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of a few. I know that they will retaliate, but I'm ready for whatever comes. Thanks to you, I've always loved to read. Now I'm about to take action. I can only quote Et er, Etienne de la that name they only seem tall because we are on our knees i won't kneel anymore kneel anymore mother i just intend to stand straight whatever the cost goodbye my beloved mother jack there is a name engraved under the enid gillum the back of the case jack gillingham oh. maybe i should return this watch to his family yeah let's return that watch to his family you just donated you realize you <laughs> Just realized you donated 28,000 bits? Holy crap, Tyler. It didn't realize there was that much money until now. Oh, no. Well, we appreciate it, Tyler. It, your support is so encouraging. I'm hoping you and Ashley are doing well. Okay. Um, still the docks. Let's see. Do we take these way? Yeah, this way. So, yeah, no, let's go this way. Etienne de that name. Yeah, I can't pronounce some names. Look, I'm not very good at pronouncing certain names. Alright, so if I go... Look, I want to go back to the hospital. That's my only concern right now, is going back to the hospital. Safer places to be. It ain't human. What? How do you know I'm not human? Ah. Ah. I'm gonna back up a bit so that guy gets closer to me. Oh god. Fucking smoke grenade. Wait, did I ruin my blood cauldron by doing that? Bloody leech! Fucking God. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> I'm eating you. Get dead. There we go. All right, dude. That grenade like rolled down the street. It was crazy how far it rolled. All right. Grab that. Grab that. Cool. Let's get home. Dry test. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. See you soon. Do I have my skills back yet? No, I don't. Okay. Let's be moving on. The fact that they lead so quickly to I'm not human is ridiculous. I love how it goes through people. Eat you. Dunk! What up, Fran? What up, buddy? We're just, you know, we're just vamping. Straight vamping up in here. Alright, I think the fastest way is through this alley? We could go also this way, too. Okay. Come this way, guys. Hang out with this dude while he explodes. Ready? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, your friend exploded and it hurts you. That's gross, right? Yeah. Straight vamping, just like the way he likes it. It's true. Straight vamping. We got ourselves a blood cauldron too, which is awesome. It's the best. 